Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a get unready with me. I just came home from date night and I'm just so excited to relax and get things nice and clean. And I just wanted to share with you what I do to achieve a beautiful zen night. Now, if you like these type of videos, please consider subscribing, commenting down below what you'd like to see and liking this video if you did. Also ding that notification bell to be informed when I upload and let's get started. First things first, First, when I get home from work, from anything, I usually have a face of makeup on, so I like to double cleanse. The first thing I try to remove is my eye makeup, meaning my mascara. Mascara is a little bit harder to remove with cleanser, and so I like to go in with the Clinique Take the Day Off makeup remover. I actually prefer the balm version to this. You have to shake it and then put it on a cotton pad. I soak it for a couple seconds and then remove my mascara. The balm I kind of prefer because you don't have to shake it. I really do like the take the day offline. Cleansing with a cleansing oil. You can use the CeraVe cleansing oil. It's pretty new and I really like that. Dr. Dre likes that. This Uriage came at a good price. You get two of these for such a good deal and I am already halfway through my first bottle. It really helps remove your makeup and anything that is oil-based from your face. Now this is my first cleanse. I do double cleanse. I just feel like I get the most out of double cleansing and this doesn't strip your face out of all that moisture. So with a double cleanse comes the second cleanse. This one is the La Roche-Posay Effaclar Foaming Gel. I don't know why it says foaming gel because this pump is not a foaming pump, but it does lather really nicely on your skin. I like La Roche-Posay. I feel like it's a great brand. I really want to try more from them. And I do like this cleanser. I don't have any bad feelings about this. I used to use the cleanser by CeraVe, the SA cleanser. I also really like that. So my fourth step in my skincare routine is LED face mask by Omnilux. I do have an unboxing video and I will be linking that up here and I will also be posting a video of my six month review on this with before and after pictures but I haven't gotten to the six month mark yet so if you want to see that don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So this has to be the step right after cleansing because it does say that to use this you have to have very clean and exfoliated skin and dry skin and this goes on for 10 minutes. After the LED mask I love this next product. I used to use the Paula's Choice BHA exfoliant, but I recently tried the Dr. Dennis Gross Supercent BHA liquid. This is kind of like the BHA by Paula's Choice, but I don't know what it is about this. It's on a different level. I actually prefer this over the BHA by Paula's Choice, which is crazy because I never thought I would replace that product ever. There's something about this that my skin loves even more than the Paula's Choice. Now, the next thing I do once my skin is completely clean is I go in with under eye cream and I like to use retinol for my under eyes. I have the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Retinol Eye Corrector and this I just use every night under my eyes. I use a different cream in the morning that does not contain retinol. I've never really had bad under eyes but maybe it's because I've been using retinol under my eyes for such a long time and I switch it up. I buy the ROC one, the Ole one, and the Neutrogena one. I do like the ROC and the Neutrogena the best. My my next step is niacinamide. I do have a moisturizer with niacinamide and a separate niacinamide serum that I like to mix together. So the niacinamide serum I've been loving is this one by The Inky List and I mix this in with this Clarence Multiactive Night Cream. This has a little bit of niacinamide but it's not as much as I would like and that's why I combine the two. I do like them both combined. I like using niacinamide at night. In the morning, I feel like it doesn't sit the best underneath my makeup. I really like this cream from Clarence. I also have the morning version. It's very moisturizing, but it's not so heavy that I can use it during the summertime. Once all my moisturizers have been put on my face, I do a treatment. Since I am acne prone, I have to use Adapalene and the one I use is this Adapalene with benzoyl peroxide. And this is the main reason why I don't use a Retin-A or a Retinol all over my face. I do avoid my eyes when I use this and I only focus it on the areas that I get a lot of breakouts. And since this dries my skin so badly, I put it on top of my moisturizer and I feel like that's the best way I can get the benefits of this without the dryness. If this is prescriptions, you have 
have to go to your derma and ask about this. Next, this is a new step and I am making a video on the results of this after a couple months of using it. This is the Ordinary Multipeptide Lash and Brow Serum. I'm planning to use this just on my lashes and I'm excited to use this and see the results. Next up is my neck. I didn't used to take care of my neck as much as I do now, but I tried to moisturize my neck with some body cream. I just like to use the CeraVe one when I'm self tanning. And then I also try to use a retinol on my neck. But since I can't use retinol on my face just yet because of the adapalene, I'm using it on my neck. So this retinol is the 1% in Scoiline from The Ordinary. I do like it, but I don't like oils on my skin. I feel like my skin doesn't react to oils as well as I would like. And so I keep this on my neck area. So one of the last steps in my routine is eye drops. I have dry eyes and it's something about the closing of my lids. And so unfortunately, I have to live with dry eyes for quite a while. And in order to mitigate that I need to be putting like an eye drop or eye gel at night and also using it throughout the day. I forgot to mention this but after brushing my teeth I love using TheraBreath Oral Rinse and I love the green version as well. This is one of my last steps in my routine that I don't do every single day but I do have to. It is teeth whitening. Right now I'm using the Crest White Emulsions. This is basically like an emulsion that you put on your teeth and then you leave overnight. It does work. My teeth has seen an improvement after after using this so I can attest to its efficacy but I do want to try out something new and when I'm done with this I am planning to try out the Crest 3D white strips this is in the level 28 with this you have to make sure your teeth are dry and then apply them and then you leave them overnight it's pretty simple the tricky part is having your teeth dry so that the emulsions stick on your teeth because if it's wet it doesn't really stick this one is kind of easier in my opinion because you just wipe your teeth out and then you put the sticky stuff in and then that's it. So I am planning to make a video on this, but it won't be up anytime soon. So what are we gonna do? Hit that notification bell, yes. I cannot believe I forgot to mention this, but after whitening my teeth, I slather on some Laneige sleeping mask. I love this mask. Lastly, it's more of an aura thing, but ever since I tried it in the store, I just fell in love with it. This is the Eau de Jardin from Clarence. This is like a fragrance mask that uplifts you and makes you feel zen. And I really, really like this. I like to use it when I'm feeling extra special. Also when meditating or just sitting and relaxing, I like to use this and spray it around my body i just feel like it's so soothing i have a bunch of scents as well and this is my favorite one so there you have it i hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful in any way now the things i use for my morning routine are slightly different some products i add like vitamin c and spf and some others i take away like the cleansing oil for example and i am planning to make a video on that so if you want to see that please hit that subscribe button comment down below what you'd like to see next or any suggestions that you would like me to make a video on like this video if you did it really helps me out and ding that notification bell to be informed when i upload my other videos. If you would like to support me further, please check out my videos here, 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 and here. And I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!